Hey everybody, it's October 10th. I'm Aaron Norris and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. Consumer optimism over the housing market is continuing to show signs of increase, with 68% of consumers believing now is a good time to buy a house. Freddie Mac reported mortgage rates decreased to their lowest in, five, uh, in a month, with 30-year rates at 4.12% and 15-year rates at 3.3%. HELOCs increased by 20.6% from last year, with a total of 797000 originated. And new home purchase applications remain virtually the same, according to the Mortgage Makers Association. RealtyTrack says California remains a top spot for flippers despite decreasing profits, uh, 5000 361 homes were flipped in California in the second quarter. This accounts for 6.8% of home sales in the state in the second quarter. The total number of California flips fell 25% quarter over quarter, however, and 18% year over year. Economists at the California Association of Realtors Expo in Anaheim this week a share that California isn't done with increases yet. Christopher Thornburg with Beacon Economics, Joel Singer with the California Association of Realtors, both who have been at I Survived Real Estate and Christopher will be at I Survived Real Estate this year. And of course, Richard Green with USC Lux Center all agree that surge in prices was possible for 2015. However, Green mentioned the changing behaviors of the 20 or 30 somethings as a concern and something to watch for in the future. CoreLogic says that national price increases have slowed in 2014. We've had over two straight years of uh, uh, gains and in August price increases were 6.4% year over year, but month over month only 0.3%. Property economist Paul Diggle says he expects prices to continue to accelerate but much slower in the coming year as supply increases. John Burns Real Estate Consulting says student debt is hampering the housing recovery and that high student debt will cost the real estate market $83 billion this year. College debt is increasing every year by 6% and this is expected to continue to get worse in the coming years and we hope to have him on the radio show soon to talk about this very specific report. We've read it. That's it for the headlines but of course there are many more on our website at thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Um, I Survive Real Estate. We continue with our radio show interviews. David Cogdill is up next. He is the CEO of the California Building Industry Association. We're really excited to have the builder voice at I Survived Real Estate this year. We are almost sold out. It is hard to believe this is our seventh year. This week, just two days ago, we crossed the $500,000 mark raised for charity. Thank you so much, all the sponsors and all of you out there who have sponsored over the years. You can still give even if you aren't attending, but you enjoy the content. Please consider donating $10, $20, anything helps. And 100% of what we raise goes to um, Make-A-Wish and St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Um, October 15th, Million Dollar Trade Show we are going to be doing with the Apartment Owners Association, and I believe that's in LA. October 24th is, of course, I Survive Real Estate. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to broadcast that live this year, uh, but information should be coming out soon. November 6th, Secrets to Becoming Wealthy at SJREI. We're going to be up in San Jose, so Northern California. Hope to see you there. And November 11th through 13th, the very last property buying boot camp in the Norris Group in our office. It's going to be the last one of the year. Definitely check that out or call the office to talk to Diana Barlet for information. For more information on hard money loans, including our fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction loans, check out thenorrisgroup.com or if you're interested in passive investing, check out tngtrustees.com. With that, have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week.